hi and welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to learn how you can create a PWA from a Next.js application so if you have your Next.js application that you've built and you want to make it a PWA here's the way you can go and it's very very easy you don't need to write any service worker code and all that stuff so let's get started first of all I want to thank all of you for supporting me throughout this channel we just crossed 1000 subscribers mark and it's a very very huge milestone and thanks a lot for supporting along and let's get into the video so inside so right over here we have the next PWA package which we are going to use for converting our next JS or not really converting but also creating the next JS application as a progressive web app so it says zero config plugin for next JS but you know you just need a small little config okay so it's also very simple uh, the first thing we'll need is to install it so let's go ahead and install next PWA so let's copy that and inside of our project directory where we have like all the code I have the setup if you want to download if you want this as a github repository I'll push it to github and then you can just clone it and then uh, take a look yourself you can even make this a PWA so let's install this uh, package so first we'll need next PWA now this will get installed but the second thing we will need uh, so I'm not gonna go through the project it's very simple we are gonna go through it later on but just the demo so the second thing we'll need is all the icons so if you're familiar with PWAs you will need a manifest.json file with all of the icons with all the supported icons so how do you get these icons well you can go to icon gen so you can select which icons do you want right over here like you want the favicon the 16 by 16 and then the PNG uh, the progressive web app Android Chrome uh, so we won't need both of these we will just need two of these I guess hopefully so let's just go ahead and choose file so let's choose this favicon.ico from our project itself so this is by version and you can pick your icon it's maybe a PNG or ICO whatever so we have one two three four five six seven eight icons which we have to include right so let's download all files as zip and I'll move them to our project and then I'll meet you back so I moved all the icons inside the public folder in the icons folder so we have all these icons right over here the next thing we will need is a manifest.json file and what you can do is inside the public folder itself you can create a manifest.json file and this is a next year's project so that's why we are putting everything inside the public folder so that we can access it later very easily so for the manifest file I have created this uh, short little template which you can just simply go to this address I'll leave this link in the description and you can simply copy the code by the way this app was made by me and my friend so you can just check it out on easypaste.tk so once you have copied all the code what you can do is you can just go back and paste all the code inside of the file okay you don't need this extra comma fine so you can add all the icons in this array and you can even add shortcuts if you want if you know on Twitter for example you have these cool little shortcuts which you can add but we are not going to go into that you add start URL background color and display standalone scope theme color you can so let's just go ahead and add the short name so for the short name I'm just gonna say next PWA and for the name I'm gonna say next PWA tutorial and for the description let's just say you know just some uh, dot 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 because we don't want it right now so now in the icons is where all the fun begins first of all we want to point to slash icons so right over here slash icons and let's just rename all these so I'm gonna rename all these from Android um, to icon so I've renamed all these files to icon dash and then whatever the uh, size of the icon is so right over here you have got let's just rename this to icon and then we've got 36 by 36 as our first icon so let's just copy this and paste it in the sizes 
now what you can do is simply duplicate this whole object for six more times so and if you're wondering how I did it well I just used the keyboard shortcut control shift down okay that's a VS code exclusive shortcut now let's just go ahead and simply rename this so 48 for this one and if you're wondering how I did this one I just selected I say control D to get you know the next three of them and then rename them and then go ahead and do it again okay so hopefully we are done with the manifest.json file the only thing left is an another icon another maskable icon so a maskable icon is simply an icon which is needed technically needed inside of a PWA so you can get the maskable icon for now for uh, this particular situation uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste the same icon as the one the 192 copy and I'm just going to rename this as maskable and then go to manifest and let's just go ahead and duplicate this one again and with this one we can just you know say maskable maskable and then we can just set the size to be 192 by 192 and we can set the we can set the purpose for this one as maskable now now this is not really a good practice but for the sake of this tutorial I am adding this uh, existing icon so once we have done once you are done with all this uh, what we can do is we can just go ahead and include this manifest file so if you go to your pages and in, uh, index.js so right over here you have to link your manifest file so how do you do that well you just say link and the rel is basically manifest and the href is going to be slash manifest dot json and and once this is done let's also copy and paste this inside of this head tag right over here and let's just place this okay cool so now that we are all set with our PWA code let's go inside of the next.config.js and use that package we installed so what you need to do first of all is import with PWA from that package so you just say require next PWA alright so you've got with PWA and then this object which we export from this file what you simply need to do is wrap it with with PWA okay so this is a function you call this function and then you pass in this object now in this one you also get a PWA object which you can export as a configuration if you want to so you can set the destination which is going to be public in our case so the folder name right over here which is public here's where we want all of our files to be and the second option which I personally like is disable so we want to disable it if the process oops if the process dot env dot node underscore env is equal to development so basically this line of code means that if we are developing the app so if we are running npm run dev it's it should be disabled we don't want that to happen and that's it save the file and you will go back and you'll see okay found a change in next.config.js so so we can go through the app but let's now test the PWA stuff now what you can do in order to test it is that build the application so you can just say npm run build which basically happens on the server right there where you deploy the app so you just build it and then we can check if this works so npm run build is going to build the app and then I'll be back once this is done and finally this is done so let's take a look as you can see we've got this service worker as slash sw.js so it's in the public folder as sw.js and this workbox file so basically you need to ignore both of these files when you are pushing it to git so you can add these to git ignore if you want to let's just do that real quick 
so you can ignore these files like so and if there are uh, uh, some other files which you want to ignore you can do that as well in the git ignore file so once we are done with all of this now let's finally test it out so you can just say npm start to run the production build of the application so right over here it says ready started server on localhost 3000 let's go on to that port localhost 3000 and here is our application let's right click and inspect it uh, so that we can see what's uh, what's new in this one so if I go to the application tab if I go to the application tab if I go to manifest as you can see we've got all the icons hopefully you can see it so let me just do this so you've got all the icons you've got the name short name you've got the color and all that stuff if I go to service workers even the service worker is registered so if I am offline so let's just uh, go offline I don't think this is gonna work as of now so if we go ahead go to the network tab and we say and we go offline and let's reload that still works that wasn't expected anyways so now let's just go ahead and go online again and you can even install this as an application so install next pw tutorial now this is where your name comes in and you can install it or not now whatever you choose so if you install it it will be as a whole new window right you know it and if I was to visit this page for example now this page is cached so if I revisit this page so if I go back I go offline I go offline and I visit this page again as you can see this works and if I visit any other page which does not exist and I am still offline that is going to cause some problems so to work that around what you can simply do is just go ahead and inside of the pages folder add underscore offline dot js oops in this file whatever you write so that will be displayed when the user is offline and the page can't be visited in the case that I showed you so this page cannot be visited but this one can be even if I am offline this one can't be so as you can see this is what it shows but what you can do is you can create that underscore offline or JS file and you can export a react component and that is going to be showed up whenever the user is offline and I hope this video helped you out again thanks a lot for 1000 subscribers it was a really really long journey and I hope this video helped you out if it did let me know in the comments below share it to others and thanks for watching